Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Entertainment News. In a few minutes, we're going to talk about the latest updates on 28 Years Later. But before we get there, a few things for you to do to help us out here, to help us reach 5,000 subscribers. Of course, subscribe, hit the alert bell, like our videos, comment on them, maybe send a super or become a member for $2.99. But yes, as I said up front, 28 Years Later lands at Sony. Update on Cillian Murphy's involvement. Uh, we talked about the announcement for the film uh, last month, I guess now. Um, sort of came out of nowhere a lot of people were very uh surprised excited and it looks like some progress is being made 28 years later a surprise sequel to 28 weeks later that it was announced earlier this month has officially landed at sony according to the hollywood reporter the highly highly anticipated film from director danny boyle and writer alex garland saw sony win the rights after a bidding war for the film according to thr the sequel is part of a package that includes a sequel film however boyle will only direct the first project uh, with the sequel to be directed by an as of yet unknown director. I did not know that. Uh, it sounded like perhaps he was going to do them all originally, but at least he's going to do the one. So that is a positive. <clears throat> and perhaps the most notable news, however, is that reported that Cillian Murphy, who starred in the original film 28 Days Later, would be involved as an executive producer. THR also notes that the star could ask, also act in the film, although that is being kept under wraps as of now. Murphy previously expressed interest in doing another film set in the 28 Days Later universe, although his star has arisen greatly since the original 2002 film. Yeah, that's um, that goes without saying, especially after Oppenheimer. So, um, what do you think? Is is Sony the uh, the right destination for this film? Uh, it's one of the majors, um, and you know these majors recently making some questionable decisions as far as the fans are concerned, the way that they've handled um, sequels and universes and all that, and just sort of the way they, um, the way they've been running the, uh, the very turbulent uh, film industry recently with all the sort of disruption by COVID and streaming and um, recent <clears throat> uh, strikes here in the U S markets and, and all that crap going on. Um, are they a good fit? I hope that uh, this is a situation where it's more of a distribution deal than uh, having too much control over the project. Uh, I think that's always the best. Um, let the studio apparatus do what it does best, which is it has these relationships with um, with theater chains, also has a lot of know-how know -how as far as advertising and promotion go. And I think they can add a lot of weight behind smaller films that are essentially more independent, but they get picked up um, in the, in these bidding wars. So, so we'll see where that all falls down later as more information becomes uh, available, but also, yeah, um, Cillian Murphy um, being involved. I think that's a plus for the production. Um, hopefully he's not demanding too much, but yeah, his star has definitely arisen. Um, uh, with Christopher Nolan, Nolan for many years and finally getting a leading role in a Christopher Nolan film definitely helps as well. So, um, you know, hopefully <laughs> I don't think he can command like 20 million and sort of break the bank of the film, but uh, we shall see. Um, sounds like he's excited about it. I think that's always a positive to have an enthusiastic um, returning actor um, involved. However, um, I don't know what his experience level is as far as on the production side um what he will bring to the uh to the production um but i would say that uh his name being attached will certainly help things um overall as far as, as far as a, a notoriety and a legitimacy thing goes having both the original writer directors as well as a star back definitely adds legitimacy and makes it seem more like a real honest to goodness project other rather than being more of a cash grab to try to capitalize off of a long dormant franchise like the 28 days film. So there you have it. What do you think? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Keep it uh, kind, uh, friendly on topic and you will get kind, friendly on topic responses. And uh, hopefully you will subscribe and become part of our small little but growing community. Um, help support small channels like ours. All right then, uh, thank you and until next time, keep it creepy.